Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for June 2022. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're, oh, four wands, nice. Joy, happiness, something good is coming. This month could, I'm just gonna jump right into that part and then we'll get back to what I was saying. The Four of Wands brings happiness in the home situation, success if you're purchasing a home, um, just joy in general in family situations. Uh, I don't think there's any other words they're looking for. Anyway, so back to our little introduction. We're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on for you and your person or whoever's on your mind for the month of June. If you are returning, welcome back. Please, 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 guys, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. It really does help things grow. If you haven't been with us before and you are here now, welcome. I do hope you will subscribe and also hit that like button. Sharing the message or just hitting that button helps other people see the messages that they need to see. So you're kind of helping the collective. All right, let's see what else. Um, if you would like a personal reading. That information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, let's get with it. All right, so something is going to be, I'm going to pick up the card, hang on. Something is going to be made really clear because your overall energy is the Ace of Swords. So this is breakthrough energy. If you've been feeling a little bit stagnant or like things weren't moving, which most of you probably were through Mercury retrograde, as we discussed in your next 10 days reading, sometimes... That is a really, really, really important time to do some reflecting. It isn't that things are going to necessarily go wrong during that time or that there's a challenge around all the areas that Mercury can rep represent. It just means that it's a slowdown period. So if something big transformed over the full moon and you're having to process that energy, you're going to clearly understand now with the Ace of Swords what you needed to break through, what energy needed to be worked out. It was something really important, it feels like. Could be around how you feel about your relationship or relationships in general, meaning romantic. All right, I'm going to cut this and then we will get the rest. So in your current energy, we have the Seven of Cups, the Six of Wands. That's great because wherever you were confused before, they're saying you're overcoming this. That's again, it, it coincides with the clarity. Seven of Cups could be around opening yourself up to new options but it can also be being confused because there are so many different opportunities or you're, you're finally breaking through to the point where you go, oh, actually there's more out there than I thought there was. Six of Wands and then the Eight of Swords, perfect. So you definitely had a moment where you took yourself finally out of a place of feeling stuck mentally and allowing yourself to open up to the idea that things can work out. Even if you had been discouraged by past events, this is allowing you to open up more emotionally and mentally. So in the near future, the Page of Cups is popping up. That's great. Two of Pentacles and then the Seven of Pentacles. So what area of your life do you want to continue to give energy to? Um, if something new does come in for you, this is a new emotional experience. Does it have to be romantic? Not necessarily. But I see where you can be going back and forth. If it is a work situation because there are the Pentacles this could be like a move in a direction that really brings you joy and maybe at times you doubt whether it would be the right move. The seven of pentacles in reverse could be an energy of I'm just tired of waiting to see how things are going to unfold. I need to make a decision and move towards what is going to bring me the most satisfaction emotionally. What you don't see coming, the five of pentacles Good. This is good. And being these two cards, it's like being at the end of that cycle of abandonment, feeling like you're just left out there to figure things out on your own, not understanding why things didn't work out. You're at the end of that with the Ten of Wands. You've already learned the lessons you needed to learn. So this is bringing you to that ending point. It's like you're gathering with the Ten of Wands. He's headed back towards his home. He's got his harvest. So in a spiritual manner, this means that you've learned what you've needed to learn. To me, the wands do represent a lot of 
uh, lessons. They just do. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. You know, it, it's all really based in fire energy and how you learn the deep and sometimes painful stuff so that you can get beyond it and start to free yourself mentally and emotionally. And then we have the Page of Wands in reverse. So you, what you don't see coming is that you may still be in the place where you're releasing this, but through June, I think you're finally going to just say it's no longer worth paying attention to the page of wands in reverse. You may not be ready to make a move necessarily. Let's say you're single and you want a relationship. You may just want to kind of practice this for a little bit. For those of you in a relationship, you're leaving behind anything that could have been causing any kind of um, problems or fiery energy or anything that was seeming like it was holding the relationship back. You may not feel like you can speak about every aspect of it just yet, but I think you will. And then what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Fool, the Six of Swords, great. And then the Death card, recognizing that this is your time to take a chance, to take an opportunity to let go of any issues that you've had around, maybe even feeling foolish in choices that you've made in the past. It's not time to sweat that stuff anymore. This has been such a period for you guys over the last so many years Right now, it's just accepting that this is a transformation that needed to happen for you, and especially in mental energy with the swords. You are definitely getting to a place where you're much more calm in that area. It could feel a little bit overwhelming still, like you know, you're a little worse for the wear, but you understand now how much you've given to everything in your life and where you haven't received. It's always a message for you guys because it seems like we have to remind you constantly it's beautiful to be a giver but you need to learn how to give to yourself and you need to learn how not to give so freely that people take advantage of it you want that reciprocity you want something like that and I think you're finally at that place okay I've it's been beaten into my head enough I get it now I get that I can't just fall right in and just give fully of myself unless I know that that person's going to do the same so you could be in, in a situation right now where you're just kind of crossing your arms and saying, you know what, maybe this isn't the time. Maybe I don't need to talk about my emotions if you're with a partner or open myself up yet to somebody coming in. You may be a little bit closed off, but it doesn't mean that that's going to be forever because I think you're just preparing yourself for whatever changes are happening with the chariot. Now, you could be dealing with a cancer, a lot of water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, those are the ones that are the strongest. They're standing out. Leo, Sagittarius, too. So pretty much everybody's here. Now, the hangman says there's a lot of wisdom that has been gained during this time that you felt like you were kind of floating. But that movement starting to work its way up, meaning it's getting to a place where you're ready to finally start pushing forward. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. I'm actually going to ask for one more card to see if there's a challenge. So the Empress, it's rebuilding yourself and getting to a place where you feel abundant again. If you're not feeling that way, Spirit's saying it's a challenge right now. And if you've gone through, of course, this transformation, then yeah, you could feel, like I said earlier, a little worse for the wear, but you're rebuilding. So breaking down all those old things that needed to get away, reflecting on that energy and finding it to start rebuilding regaining it. This can all be mental and emotional energy. It doesn't have to necessarily mean that you're walking away from something and leaving it behind. It feels more personal here with the five of pentacles. Some of you could have walked away from something or someone and decided that maybe they weren't the right situation for you. I don't feel it's a strong long-term relationship though. So for those of you that it resonates with, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify and see what is this clarity that Capricorn is getting breakthrough or what is it around? So we have strength, rebuilding your strength, knowing, having the courage <clears throat> to allow this to happen, accept it for what it is and keep moving. Temperance, boy, these cards are coming out very similarly for the signs, having patience with yourself Yep, learning the lesson. So you have a lot in common, I think, with Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. They had those three clarifiers, but a different card. So whoever's in your life that could be that type of sensitive, or you could be embodying a Pisces-like energy, 
feeling very sensitive at the moment, knowing that that's not typically the way you work. Not that you're not sensitive um, or emotional, but you tend to be more grounded in your thought processes. So you could have been feeling a little bit more emotional than normal. All right, the seven of pentacles, or I'm sorry, the seven of cups with the six of wands, we have the five of cups. So whatever has been creating any kind of discontent or unhappiness or feeling just frustrated, that's what you're overcoming. All right, so the six of wands with the eight of swords in reverse, and there's the six of wands again. I mean, you want to talk about absolute success. Taking back control of your emotions, not letting it hold you back any longer, opening yourself up to new emotional experiences, feeling like, you know what, I've gotten this success in so many areas of my life. Maybe for some of you, the relationship part is what's been the most difficult, but getting excited again about what can be and feeling like you're finally moving in the right direction. All right, the Page of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Moon. So the Moon can be a little bit about fear. Absolutely. If you've been burned a few times, you could have a little fear around sticking your toes in the water of emotional situations. This can also be fear around making changes with your job. But something's going to be revealed to you. And I think you're going to have a better understanding of how much more emotionally fulfilling something's going to be to you than what you've been experiencing. I just don't think you want to wait any longer to see if something else is going to grow. You may be putting your energy into something new. And then we have the nine of pentacles. So something didn't bring you the stability that you were hoping for. You could have put all your energy and effort into this for years and years and years. And now it's just time to shift. So that's what will happen. The universe will come in and say, this is not fulfilling you anymore. You want to get further. There's something that's not bringing you the kind of independence or success that you had hoped for. So here's a new experience for you. We want you to recognize that it's going to be more fulfilling. Okay, so the five pentacles, you could be walking away from that old job and opening yourself up to this new opportunity because you're done. You've already done everything you can do in that particular place. So it's time to put that to bed and move forward. And then we have the high priestess. Good. Trust your intuition. Yeah, spirit's like, you know that you have the ability to see things for what they are. You'll get a feeling in your gut. Maybe you've been training yourself to understand what your intuition actually means. Is it a feeling? Is it a knowing? Am I going to see something? Yeah, there are signs all around you all the time. There are ideas that are going to come to you. Those are all a part of trusting what you're feeling, hearing, thinking, all of that good stuff. So you're at a point where you've learned how to do that. And Spirit's like, you're going to know exactly what to do in this moment when you decide that you will no longer stick to a situation that isn't serving you. You don't want to be in a place where you feel left out or um, pushed back on. Something at work, I feel like people have either pushed on you or something is happening to get this energy stirred up for you and you can feel like, wow, everybody's just kind of abandoning me. You know, I don't feel supported anymore. So the Ten of Wands with the Page of Wands in reverse, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're saying, look, it may not come in in the way that you expect. So are you ready to take this and move with it? Maybe not, but trust what you're feeling. Trust that if it's coming up for you in the month of June where you need to make a shift or transformation, then it's time. It's time for you to start looking for something else. For some of you, this shift is going to happen around August, I just heard. Uh, so it could take a little time for you to find something else. The full with the Six of Wands, what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Tower in Reverse. That's that you've already had this moment of clarity. This has already fallen apart in some way, shape, or form for you. And you realize that it happened for you to get to a better place. For you to go towards, yes, calmer shores. We always say that. But it is. It really is. It's to help you calm your, your mental state, relax you, and get you to an, the next chapter, really. The Six of Swords with the Death card. And there's that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Because this feeling no longer suits you. Wherever you have felt completely unstable or have had a lack of independence, that's going to change. That is no longer going to be with you. It's transforming. This occurrence is to transform you out of a place of feeling like I'm not abundant. Even if you have everything you need in a financial situation or 
all of that doesn't mean that you necessarily feel stable. Sometimes we don't feel really stable unless we have a partner or there's other things that matter um, to you that create that sense of stability and independence. So it could not, it, it could be that it's not just around your money. It could be other areas in your life as well. But something definitely made you feel um, just off a bit in that area. So that is definitely transforming for you and it's going to be in this month. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this and we will get into the person that's on your mind and we'll throw cards on the floor. Six of Wands just wants to stay up, so I'm going to leave it there. All right, let's see what's going on with you and your person and how do they want this to show? All right, so June is going to be the month of transformation. I know, we always go through it and it's like, ugh, when is there going to be enough? Death and rebirth, beautiful energy, letting that stuff go, really, really letting it go this time and not holding on to anything that doesn't serve you. It seems so simplistic, but it really is important that you recognize why things have to come to an end so that you can come into this new energy. You're just being prepared for it. June's going to be a really significant month for a lot of signs. All right. What do we have going on for you and your person or the person on your mind? This is for Capricorn. Let's see. Your person's energy, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this person could see, wow, this combination, no matter how much I shuffle, seems to be coming out for a lot of people. Whoever this is <clears throat> could seem as though they're okay or things are happy, but really they're not. Something is missing. They're not happy with themselves. They don't feel like they're on top of their game. Um, there's a false sense of being okay with the Hierophant here. Your energy is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Wands. I don't think you're wanting to go towards this person, so both of you are in reverse. For some of you, this could be somebody that you've separated from and you're curious about what's going on with them. I think they have a false sense of being okay. It may seem that way, like I said, to the out, the outward, um, the external, sorry, but something's just not quite right. With you, it doesn't seem like you want to put um, the effort in yourself. You're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Maybe you felt like this person didn't see your worth or your value. The moon in reverse, something's definitely going to be revealed when it's in reverse, it's not that you have fear necessarily about what's coming in the future. I just think you're curious as to what this person's energy is going to shift into. Are they going to get to this place? I'm going to get some more cards and we'll see. Let's see what else we have for them. Well, they're trying to get out of a place of self-imprisonment. That makes sense because they felt a little bit tied. And they're not waiting for something to continue They've lost hope in something, and I don't think it's you. It may be something around their work where they're just not wanting to um, focus a lot on what's going on in their emotions. They want to focus on their work. Let's see with you. <clears throat> Four of Wands. Maybe you had hopes that this was going to end up in a marriage, and it didn't, or something long-term, and it didn't, or you are fearful that it won't go to that place. I think you're holding on pretty tightly to the idea of this though. Justice, okay, you could be dealing with a Libra. This person, you may find that this is gonna eventually balance out with the Nine of Wands. There's a lot of lessons that have been learned. So it wouldn't be surprising to me that you, well, of course not because the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. That's you guys on the other side of it. But something's gonna happen. You could be dealing with a Leo too. That's going to really make you happy. You may realize that this person had to go through some things before they could show up properly in the relationship. And there comes that nine of pentacles, which brings back that sense of, you know, everything is good. I do feel good about what I did. If this is a split and you're wondering if it's going to come back together to get myself feeling good about my independence, my money, my situation. Something happy is about to shift. Something happy is about to shift. That didn't make sense. Something is about to happen that's going to bring happiness and a shift. Let's see what other messages we get for you. 
you're facing their energy, so there's still hope for the future. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. You guys are probably so tired of hearing this, but I tell you, I promise you, some of you, yes, that's going to happen. Someone that you expect, something could shift. They made a decision and now they're ready to be in your life and they know you're the one. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. For some of you, you may have to forgive some of their past actions in order to believe that this is going to be safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then worth waiting for divine timing. Is it love in your... Okay. Is it working? I swear I can talk, guys. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I really hesitate to say that somebody's coming back, but... For those of you that are watching this and you've been hearing this for so long, if it's meant to be for you, it's going to come back in your life. It's just going to be a matter of where you are on your journey as to when this person shows up. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Something's going on with you or your person where you're working through some of those shadowy things and that's going to help you be in the right place energetically to, for this to work out and to come back together. Okay, needed a little coffee. All right, so let's get some advice. This is for my Capricorns, please. What's the advice? <laughs> yeah, of course. There you go. The advice is don't lose hope. You're going to get everything that you hope for with the Ten of Pentacles. There's the Emperor to say that there's going to be a shift in that person's energy, masculine or feminine. Ace of Cups is showing up. They're just not feeling really good about themselves. So they're leaving behind some emotional experience. You are as well, maybe releasing any kind of frustrations that you had around it. And then they have me look back down in the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is going to work out the way that you hope. Okay. Let's see what the Lover's Oracle has for you. Oh, these cards are sideways, so I'm going to take them. The first one we have is beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. At times, not if they're abusive. Okay, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. And then we have when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I think you guys know that. And a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay. That card does not come out all the time. So this is really meant for those of you who know something is meant to come back together. Let's see. And I just saw serendipity, which means luck. Uh, the number six is popping up too. So that's June. What other messages do you have for my Capricorns, please? No place like home. Something feels like home to you. Mm. There's a couple things popping up. Somebody feels like home because they remind you of your childhood or you've known them since childhood or there's something about their energy. Uh, you could be 50 or just born on the 5th or there's something about change in a home situation. We have building blocks. This is a 10. This is a new start. Building something from the ground up. Remember, if you are getting back together with somebody, it's so important to release anything that you may have been carrying into the relationship that you were projecting onto your partner. Same for this person. And then we have TikTok. I can imagine that you guys, you could be 30 or born on the 30th of the month or the third. This is like snapping your fingers going, all right, TikTok, come on. When's this going to happen? I've been waiting forever. There you go. There's your new life. This reduces, you could be 39, uh, born on the 12th, the 3rd or the 9th. This is what's coming to you. It's going to be a new life. The things that you've been hoping for, they are meant to come true. If you really desire something at the core, that's your soul's way of saying, this is what's meant for you and that's what's coming. Don't lose hope. And then orphan. See, we're getting over some of these abandonment issues and that's going to change with the five. And then we've got a message in a bottle. That reduces to a six. Somebody's going to contact you in June. You could be born on the 5th or the 15th. Something's happening. Go with the flow. Could be from June into July or you're born on the 7th of the month. And then we have loyal heart. And I think this is it. This is what you've been looking for. Lots of fives. Peace, mending, 52. Um, just so much energy around things coming back together. 
and the two of you both having the same aspirations and desires as far as your partner. All right, my loves, thank you so much. Those are your messages. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe if you haven't. If you would like a personal, that's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing month. Of course, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.